Okay, for those of you that caught this the other day, this is an introduction to the Yahoo user interface library, CSS. It was happening during the Perl 6 update, so I figure most of you didn't see it. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through this really fast. It's a bunch of style sheets that you can use to create a page layout instead of using tables for it. It's super fast and easy to use. Um, it has A-grade browser support, so you don't have to think whether it works in IE or not. Um, it basically helps normalize your margins and padding for things so that you start with a clean template. From there, um, it sets fonts to begin with, and grids helps replace tables for layout. And they say never to do this, but what I'm going to do is actually show you a demo of it. That's the last person who demoed it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that too. So this is actually what stuff looks like to begin with. You're used to seeing this maybe when you first set up a page. And what we do is show you what it looks like with reset, the first file. And that's how it starts out. So you can put on just your styles the way you want it to look. Um, the other one is fonts. And you're used to seeing things like this, whereas what fonts does is makes your, it gives a bit better line height, you know, for things like paragraphs. It makes your monospace fonts even out with the rest of the text on the page. And grids is really the best thing for it, for replacing all of your table layouts. And we're going to build a page right now. So you've got your header, your body, and your footer. You can change your page width. So those are your sections for it. It goes pretty wide across here, but you can change it here to 100%, 750 width, or you can change it to a custom width if you'd like. Inside here, you can define like sidebars. So you can see you've got a sidebar over here and your main content there. <laughs> I'm getting a software update window, which is why none of my alt tabbing is working. Okay, so you can see you've got your sidebar up there. These um, templates here, you can change to do different widths for your sidebars. Move it off. This one's off on the right, which is why it looks like it's falling off there. But you can change your widths on it really fast. This is great if you have no sidebars and someone says, hey, put ad space off on one side. And let's hope we have time for this. I think we will. So you can see here, instant two column layout. You can do two columns, you can do three columns, you can do like one quarter, one quarter, one quarter, you can do one third across the way, and it's just instant. And it works in IE, it's smooth, it's fast, and 
Yahoo supports it, great documentation. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And, oh, I'm using it on the site called Yellowbot. If you guys want to check it out, it's being used right there.